to speak, pretend that I'm dreaming. I smell your breath, not listening, but I still hear you screaming. Going under. One step away till you hear what I'm saying. Sounds like thunder. And the clouds are closing in. You see, I know this, but the last days in real life I've noticed. Losing focus, breaking up from our life as we know it. Hey guys, so as you can tell from the title of this video, I am going to be cleaning my carpets with my carpet cleaner. I'll show you what carpet cleaner I have and kind of go into detail um, while I'm doing the carpets. But I have just a basic Hoover carpet cleaner. It comes with a water tank that I'm just gonna fill up with water. And then I actually don't use any solution. I think I saw this on like a video or Instagram or something, but for the solution tank, like I said, I don't have any solution, but what I'm actually gonna put in there is some fabric softener. So I have this Downy Odor Protect. Um, I thought this would be good for the carpet since we have a dog to kind of protect the odors or get rid of the odors. And then I'm also gonna put in some of this Lysol laundry sanitizer to kind of help sanitize the carpets as well. It does give out hot water, so that kind of sanitizes it, but I'd like to just add the Lysol as a little bit more just to get my carpets really clean, clean because like I said, I have a dog and kids and you never know what they're putting onto the carpet. So I'm gonna show you how I do that and then we're gonna to get to starting off in my bedroom that I just vacuumed. Someone had told me that I will take off Okay, so like I said, I'm going to add in the fabric softener. I used not even a quarter of the cup full. As you can see, it's very little. And then I'm going to add in the laundry sanitizer, uh, probably about a fourth of a cup or a fourth of the lid here into the solution tank as well. And then that's it. I'm just gonna fill the rest up with water and your homemade solution is right there. But it's making me shiver. He's not like you, don't want him to. He's more like the river. Growing stronger. When we're alone, there's no you in the picture. Paint by number. Isn't how I want to. You see, I know this. But the last days in real life, I've noticed. Losing focus. Breaking up from our life as we know it. If someone had told me that I. Okay, so now that the solution is made, I put that in the carpet cleaner along with the tank of water. I like to fill it with hot water so that it's already hot and try and make the water that comes out of the cleaner hotter, if that makes sense. So how I do this is my particular cleaner has a dry only setting. So the first time I go over it, I wash and then I'll go over it again dry. So I actually don't have to push any buttons when I'm using this. When I go forward, it washes it, and when I pull it back, it dries. But then I go over it again with the dry only cycle just to make sure all the water's up and to try, kind of keep the carpets from getting too wet and letting them dry a little quicker.
Okay, so when you see my carpets, you probably don't think that they look too dirty, and they don't, but I think it's because of the color of the carpets and the texture that it has. So stay tuned because I am going to show you everything that was in the water tank, the dirty water tank, and then also what gets stuck in the brushes and the front part of the carpet cleaner. It's disgusting. It's it's shocking actually because it makes me really realize how dirty my carpets are and how little a vacuum does. But stay tuned for that because you're going to want to see what this carpet cleaner gets up. So you just saw me do my master bedroom only. It takes about one tank and one solution tank for each room. Um, but look at how dirty this water is. Like if seeing this water doesn't make you want to clean your carpets, I don't know what will. But this is disgusting. I probably did my carpets, it's probably been a few months. Um, I try to do them more often. I just haven't had the time. And then we do get them professionally cleaned like once a year, but that's just disgusting. Um, my room smells nice and clean now, so I'm gonna let that dry and move on into the girls' bedroom and then also our front room. Those are pretty much our only main carpeted areas and the only areas I'm gonna be doing in this video and today. But before I switch rooms, I like to refill everything because like I said, the water tank is out and the solution tank is out. Dump the dirty gross water. I'll maybe update you again if the girl's bedroom is worse, but you saw I vacuumed before I started this. This is all the hair and disgustingness that the vacuum missed. Like, okay, we have a dog and he sheds a ton. He's a lab, um, but all of this hair that's left behind in the carpet. Let me just gather it up so I can show you because it's really gross. Like you think car you think vacuuming would, you know, pick it all up and there's still some stuck in the brushes. This is just the cover of the brushes, but this is what was left of dog hair in our carpets. Yeah, it's gross, huh? So that's another reason why I like to carpet clean because I feel like it really gets all the dirt and hair out of the carpets and then also, you know, cleans them with the solution and freshes them up. So that's disgusting. I just wanted to show you guys. So I'm going to clean it all up and then we're going to go into my girl's bed. Okay, so I just had to do this in slow motion because look at how dirty that water is. And just seeing it pour out like that is just ugh, disgusting. So slow motion for the win in that dirty water.
Okay, so now I'm moving on into my girl's bedroom. I just wanted to mention that I am using my Dyson Stick vacuum, it's the V8, and I actually used it on the max power, and using it at that power like almost completely drains the battery in just one room. But I chose to do that to try and get up as much debris and hair as possible, but like you saw in my master bedroom, it didn't get up that much hair, or didn't get it up all of it up. Um, but here in my girl's bedroom, it wasn't as bad because the dog doesn't spend as much time here. So their hair and debris that was picked up was nothing compared to my bedroom. But the dirty tank water was still just as disgusting. Okay, so now I'm in the last room, which is just our front living room, like formal, our workout area and where the pool table is. Um, I decided to do these three rooms because they have the most traffic between our dog and the kids. Um, the guest bedroom doesn't really get much traffic and then the playroom was just too much of a disaster to do. So that's why I chose these three rooms. But I did wanna go over my vacuum, my carpet cleaner really quick. Um, it's just the basic Hoover carpet cleaner. My husband got it from Walmart, so it's nothing fancy, but I feel like it works really well. As you can see, it cut up a lot of dirt and hair from the carpet. So if I remember, I will go ahead and link it down in the description for you guys.
Okay guys, so you just saw me clean those three rooms. The two rooms, I didn't show you the dirty water because it was like kind of the same as the first one, so I didn't want to repeat that. But all the rooms were bad. I think my bedroom was probably the worst because that's where the dog hangs out the most. So that's where all that hair came from. The other two rooms didn't have as much hair like that, but I was finished and I still had some more solutions. So I was like, I'm gonna go redo my room again. And I didn't put it on film because it was the same thing. It was just a little bit quicker. But let me show you, like this is making me think I need to do my room like five times. This is the second time. Like, oh, it's just so gross to see that and to think that's what's on the ground. It's just disgusting. So I hope this motivated you guys to go clean your carpets. Um, if you don't have a carpet cleaner, we just got mine at Walmart. They're not that expensive, so you can pick one up, you can hire someone to come do your carpets, or you can rent one of those. I think they have them at like Home Depot or Lowe's maybe. Um, but like I said, I hope this gave you guys some motivation to do your carpets. And if you don't have carpets, I understand why. I am not a big fan of carpets either, but that's what we have. So if you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. If you are not subscribed yet to my channel, I would love if you considered subscribing and becoming part of my growing YouTube family. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye. I told him I want that great love Like standing in the middle of a bonfire Don't know how you got there, but you hold tight Knowing that you can't get burned